Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Andrew and in this video, I'm gonna restore mod and backend function the MSI EX600. Also, this is about a 12 years old laptop. It's released in 2008 and this is a trash pickup. So, I got this laptop and first I start with testing. And this is what I found. The case is in a verge shape with some scratches around which is very expected. But the case is broken right under the display hinges and one of the hinges is damaged as well. Also, the display is very loosey. The hinges and the case cannot hold the display. And while testing, always I need to put something from behind to support the display. Otherwise, the display will just fall. This type of damage is always hard to repair. But in this video, I will show a very simple and cheap way how this can be fixed. The other things that are missing on this laptop are the RAM and the hard disk. This is very expected because these parts are very easy to remove, especially when something goes to trash. And the last thing is the cooling fan. The cooling fan sounds like a tractor. But this is easy to fix and we're gonna fix it later. The most important thing is this laptop is still alive. The motherboard is working and as well the other parts, like the keyboard, the other electronics and the display. Well, let's start and back this laptop in a function again. And first, I will start with a complete teardown. Also, when I'm on the teardown process, I wanna say a few words about this model. If you're going to disassemble or tear down some laptop model like this one or some similar, then you need to be a very careful, because there are a lot of cables which are crossing everywhere and there are a lot of screws that are hard to spot. So always check twice before you do the next step. Well, the teardown process is complete and now we move to the cleaning process. And first, I start with cleaning the motherboards and the other cables and electronics from the inside. I always go with in-depth cleaning because I really like when something is looking good. And while cleaning, I always check any single part. Like, is there some damage where I need to make an additional fixes and etc.
well, all the electronics from the inside are clean and all of them are in a good shape. And now I can move to cleaning the display. So here first I start with removing the sticky tape from the bezel. This model originally has no tape from the inside, but this tape is placed because the front case bezel is too much damaged and something need to hold the bezel. After I finish with removing the tape, I move to the cleaning the back side of the display from dirt and dust that is collected through the past years. And as final, I move to the front side. To clean the front side, as always, I used soft brushes, 96% isopropyl alcohol, anti-static glass cleaner, few soft cleaning clothes and cotton buds. Well, the display is clean. There are some scratches over the display, but nothing too serious. Now, after I finish with the display, I move to cleaning the keyboard. To clean the keyboard, I used soft brushes, cotton buds and 96% alcohol. And here, first I start from the back side, I mean cleaning the back side and then I start with shaking the keyboard from the desk. Actually, I'm doing this because with this process I will remove most of the dirt that is under the keys, which is harder to reach with a brush or any other tool. Now, after I finish with the basic process, I move to in-depth cleaning. So here, using a 96% alcohol, cotton buds and brushes, I clean each key separately from dust and dirt. This is a little bit longer process, but the final result is always great. And as always, I wanna say a few words. If you're going to clean some laptop keyboard, be very careful and never let any kind of liquid to enter to the inside between the keyboard layers, because any kind of liquid may totally damage the keyboard. And this is the keyboard. The keyboard looks good, it's clean and ready for later. And now I will move to the cooling fan. To clean the cooling fan, I used a soft brush and 96% isopropyl alcohol. And later, to lubricate the cooling fan, I used a car engine oil. Well, now after I finish with cleaning all the electronics, let's move to the case. I'm gonna be short here because this was a little bit longer process, but this is what I did. The case would have some electronics on it, like the case with a trackpad that cannot be removed, I clean it using a brush, cotton buds, 96% alcohol and anti-static glass cleaner. I clean the case in this way because to avoid some damage to the trackpad. But the case that is without electronics, I mean the plastics only and the heatsink, I wash it using dish soap and warm water. Actually, I have done this, because with washing, I will remove all the dust and dirt from the case, and as well from the heatsink. Now, after the case is clean and fully dry, I move to the top case repairs. The case is broken right under the hinges, on a very important place. And without this repair, I can't mount the display, or if I mount it, the upper case will start to fall apart. This damage maybe looks badly, but the fix is not too complicated. So first, I used a paper tape to place the both broken parts in the place where they need to be. 
Now, using a super glue, I stick the bolt parts to the case. And this is not a final fix, this is just a temporary. Also, I used a paper tape to avoid leaking the super glue from the other side. Otherwise, the super glue may stick the case to the desk or the pad under the case. After the super glue gets dry, I've done all the checks. And now it's coming the final part. To fix the case, I will use the cheapest option the plastic ruler that I bought it for 60 cents. So first, I apply glue over the bottom side of the ruler. Also, this is a universal glue, but a stronger one, which when it gets dry, it's like a stone. Now, after I apply the glue, I stick the ruler over the bottom side of the case. Actually, I will reinforce the whole bottom side, which is the weakest part on this laptop. And now, after I stick the ruler, I left the case for 24 hours, drying process. Well, after the glue gets fully dry, the case is much better and much harder. But now I cross over one more process. I mean, cutting the ruler, making space for the display holders and making the edges rounder using sandpaper. Also, I stick the ruler from the outside because from the inside simply there is no space to apply the glue or reinforce the case. Well, and this is how the case is looking, but I'm not done yet. Now I cross over a taping process because I'm going to paint the case. After finish with the taping process, now using a signal red made spray, I paint the top case and the mid case, where the keyboard is. I use the red spray because the MSI is also recognizable by the red color. Well, and now let's move to the last modding process. Because I want a better aesthetics, I will use a carbon vinyl. With this vinyl, I cover the bottom part of the case where the ruler is but also I stick the carbon over the display bezel and the trackpad. Well, and now I'm done with all modifications and all the parts are ready. So now I will cross over the assembling process. And when I'm on the display, I wanna say something about the hinges. The left hinge was damaged on the bottom side. And in this case, isn't a big deal because the both hinges are identical. So in this case, I fixed this problem by changing the sides of the hinges. The left hinge, I place it from the right side and the right hinge I place it from the left side. And now the broken part of the hinge is in the upper part, where I need one screw only. And the good part of the hinge is in the bottom part of the case, where I need the both screws.
well, now let's slow down and place the CPU. A CPU, I will use the same CPU that I got with this laptop. And the CPU is Core to Duo T5750, running at 2 GHz. Actually, I will use the same CPU because I don't have anything better at the moment. Well, now the next on the list is the RAM. And as RAM, I will use 4GB in total. 4GB isn't much, but this is the maximum what this laptop supports. And the last part is the disk. And as disk, I will go with 240GB SSD. Also, to fix the SSD in the laptop, I will use a small piece of foam. I have done this because I don't have any disk mount that can fit in this laptop. And after making all the changes, the laptop finally is complete. And this is the final result. Well, and now let's take a closer look at this laptop. After I assemble the laptop, first I start with installing the Windows. And as Windows, I install the Windows 10. And then I continue with detailed testing. The laptop temperatures are fine. And the cooling fan is working normally without any noise. The only thing that I notice is one darker spot on the display. But this darker spot is barely noticeable on a white background only. The carbon fiber over the trackpad isn't affecting anything, and the trackpad is working normally. Actually, in the most cases, the vinyl won't affect anything. The battery is still working, but not with full capacity. The battery can take about a 20 to 30 minutes under a verge usage. Isn't a lot, but at least the laptop have a working battery, and the laptop won't turn off when the charger is removed or if I move the laptop around. The display hinges now are good, but I think I tied the hinges too much, so now the hinges can lift the entire bottom part. The laptop hardware and anything on this laptop is fully functional, and everything is working well and normally. The gaming performance are not bad at all, I mean to older games. And the first game that I test is Battlefield Vietnam. This is a very old game, but it's one of my favorite multiplayer games. The Battlefield Vietnam on this laptop is working pretty well, even with all high settings. The next game is Delta Force Black Hawk Down. This is an old game also. And in this game I set all settings to the maximum. And the gameplay goes pretty fine and without any problems. However, this game doesn't request some powerful hardware to be played. Actually, this is a great game for low specs hardware like this one. And the last game on the list is Serious Sam The Second Encounter, also one of my favorite games. This game has a low specs requirements also, 
and it's perfect for older hardware. But also this game has a very exciting and great gameplay. Well, and this is all about this MSI laptop. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to back some touch in a function again. Also, if you want to support my channel and my work, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.